Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. If you're so inclined and you get the chance, please hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification icon next to it. The subscribe notification or the subscribe and the bell notification icon will make you a member of the channel. It will alert you when I release new videos like this unboxing that'll go out after we unbox it. It'll also notify you when I go live for live streams, and it'll also help the channel get seen by other people, help YouTube know that you're a real person that's interested in EDC content, recommend my videos to you and other people like you. So that's why I ask that you do that. But today we got an unboxing that has come in from our friends over at White Mountain Knife Company. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure which one this is. I ordered several knives. The unboxing knife today is the Medford Midi Marauder. It happens to be in my pocket. I apologize. Tippy's going to walk by. Crazy cat. No, oh, okay. Guys, we have another Rough Rider reserve um my second rough rider reserve which means this is going to be a traditional knife um if i'm not mistaken this one is called the patriarch um with damascus if i'm not mistaken let's see and we won't spend a lot of time on this because i'll carry it and give you guys a review the rough rider reserves are kind of packaged up Kind of like Jack Wolf's old school, built by hand, back for life, Rough Rider Reserve. If I'm not mistaken, this is Smoky Mountain Knife Works Company. This one, all right, and a little rubber band, a little wipey wipey cloth. And then the knife, the oily knife. Guys, this one appealed to me for a couple of different reasons. A, I like the look of it. I like the shape. This is blue jean or blue denim micarta. Kind of got a nickel bolster and pins. And I love that sheep's foot blade. This Damascus sheep's foot blade. It's got a very nice half stop. Centered up nicely. Looks like it has nickel bolsters. Probably about a four, four or five right in there. But guys, I think that is a super cool looking knife. Um, I'm impressed with the quality of the Rough Rider Reserves because these knives, to me, who's bought modern folders all along, they seem like a very good value for what they are. This knife, I want to say in the Damascus, was $72.00. If you purchase this knife in D2 without the Damascus, I think it's $51. Both Rough Rider Reserves, so the handle material is the same. The only difference is the blade. Let me grab a piece of paper here real quick. Let's see if it cuts. I've had some luck with traditional cutting. And this one seems to have a very sharp edge. Those are all cutter errors, guys. Those are me not getting my cut started. That was not good. Trying to watch it through the camera makes it difficult. But yeah, it's slicey. It could, it could use a little strop love, which it'll get. It'll get strop love. It'll get some wicked wax love. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen my video 
on Wicked Wax or Wicked Clean from Dupree's Forge, but it's what I use to maintain my slip joint knives and some of my other tool steel knives. Let me grab it real quick. I feel like it gives a little bit of a protection to the blade. I've also got a product called Wicked Clean. This comes from Depreet Forge. But when I'll get my tool steel knives or my new knives, I'll put just a real thin coat over this Wicked Wax on them. I like to do it by hand because I'm weird that way. It's therapeutic. It takes very little to cover the surface of the knife and I'll always rub down away from that blade but I want to make sure that I get all the surface area covered. And once I do that, I just kind of let it soak into the blade for a second, which is an oxymoron or a ridiculous statement because we know wax is not going to soak into a blade. But then I will take the wax off and what that will leave, well that will leave a protective layer to help resist any oxidization, any rust. And the Wicked Clean, I apologize guys. One second. The Wicked Clean is very similar to a very light, light grit flitz. Um, metal polish. And then the Wicked Clean is more like a, just a beeswax based, just edge protected. And I can't feel that on the blade. It's food safe. And it's now treated with Wicked Wax. And guys, this is the Rough Rider Reserve Patriarch in Damascus. And that's the Wicked Wax that we just put on it. But guys, I appreciate you stopping by for the unboxing. I will upload this now so you guys can check it out. I appreciate you. Anytime you stop by the channel, I appreciate you. If you're still here, please hit that subscribe button. I would so appreciate it. If you hit the bell notification, I'll do backflips. Guys, most importantly, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate over hate. I love you all. Peace.